So Dr. Drisco was very uh, excited with those results. And she said, can we also try on pancreatic cancer? Because pancreatic cancer is really uh, the big monster. Uh, it is uh, more, more and more uh, pancreatic cancer now are being diagnosed. I have, uh, I'm pretty sure that it has to do with the kind of food that we are eating and uh, uh, most specifically uh, the Roundup, the glyphosate that has been given to, to us uh, generously uh, over the past uh, several years. There is very bad, very poor outcome generally under five years. So she was really, really eager uh, to see in vitro and in vivo if we could do something for this uh, pancreatic cancer. So again, a very similar kind of study, control group uh, mice uh, grafted with uh, pancreatic cancer cells. Is here they receive gemcitabine, which is a different kind of chemotherapy. So you see some reduction here of uh, the tumor. 20 milligrams of paupera. Gemcitabine and paupera doing the best results. Paupera 50 milligrams and gemcitabine plus 50 milligrams. Again, the best uh, results are obtained with a synergy of chemotherapy and paupera. And same thing with the revolfia. So both are doing, you know, okay. Uh, the the um, paupera is doing better with than revolfia on pancreatic cancer. But because they have a mechani different mechanism of action, it's always good to add them together. That led to two other uh, publications. Uh, confirming again the low toxicity, no toxic uh, effects of Pao Pereira, uh, and then the Pao Pereira had a strong inhibition of those uh, pancreatic uh, tumors, uh, reaching 70% of inhibition, even when tumors did not respond to gemcitabine anymore.